All right. Another rant. I don't know. Let's see. Look at Wikipedia. I was looking at this and it said nearly 15% of all Americans were... Oh, no, that's 1910. Uh, in 1999, 10% of Americans were foreign born. Okay. But, as of 2010, a quarter of the residents of the United States under 18 are immigrants or are immigrants' children. What? Wait, I don't understand that. Is that... Oh, under 18. Okay. So, uh, not a quarter of po whole population, which is 281 million, but just a quarter of that. So, okay. So, like, 10% of 280... 28 million people are foreigners. Legal or illegal, I guess. Alright, because what we're talking about is health care. And what I'm responding to is let them die. Well, okay. Let's talk about that for a second. Yeah, real nice segue into this, huh? No, but I I'm serious. You talk about pay as you go? Well, I believe in that. I believe in balancing the books, balancing the budget, freaking capping military spending except for where you need it, uh, doing the most cost effective military things you gotta do, and if that means freaking rebuilding the freaking uh, airplane graveyards and freaking running low running bomber sorties over to wherever you gotta bomb instead of this high tech infocentric military industrial complex crap. You do that, you send the poorest out to freaking do that, and you block off all the borders. And you you don't freaking uh, deport people. You freaking create your prison system on the borders. You make it a dual system, like uh, 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 solar infrastructure. So they're working creating solar factories that they just happen to be prisoners under while they work. Hope they don't step on the wrong panel. And, you know, it provides shade, it provides building, probably some cooling, and it does something to friggin' useful in the, sit in the same time. It's multitasking. And, and then everyone who knows that comes here illegally because the choice is live in a country where they're going to starve or come here and be friggin' locked away. They won't be free. There will be no friggin' amnesty. There will be no friggin' driver's licenses. There will be no free medical. They won't be clogging up the medical thing. M emergency rooms. They won't be getting food stamps. They won't be getting anything. And the tide will end. Then, what you do is you create a living wage not by frigging per hour, not a minimum wage, but a living wage based off Frigging things immigrants used to do, um, migrant workers. Like, if there's a crop full of friggin' heads of lettuce, you give people a friggin' a penny a head of lettuce or a nickel or whatever would work. And that way, friggin' everybody can work at their own pace and then everybody is rehabilitated. And the other reason this would work is because you're not taxing the rich so much. Well, the corporations are gone in my little world. You know, they're just gone. Everybody's a private business. 
There are no more lobbies. But they have public accountability. And all freaking um, tax things are shown. So you see where campaign contributions go. This is all about fixing the health care. Because you can't fix anything else part of the system like health care until you fix the whole system. Until you fix the prisons. Until you fix the welfare. And I'm for welfare. Because the welfare will be used to actually aid people into getting it'll be it, it won't be enabling because it'll be more productive to work. You'll get aid and that will give you back on your feet to get a basis to where you can make more money working. So if you want to scrounge off a little, you can. But the incentive will be to go out and get ahead because you will have a natural incentive to get ahead because the opportunity will be there so you won't let them die you will let them live except for the people who freaking can't take advantage of the system they all go to the friggin to the friggin border friggin uh, prisons and that's what, you, that's what you do. You know, you can leave the friggin' gates open. And friggin' no towns within 50 miles. And if someone gets away, they can walk around all they want. Because sooner or later, friggin' any time they make it to somewhere else, there's gonna be a phone call, and friggin' this little friggin' solar-powered car is gonna come out, and lock them up, and friggin' send them back. And they're not gonna like it. Because there'll be no way to get free. Unless they want to head back the other way. And if they show up a couple more times, then they don't get to go back for a couple more times. You know, you, you, you stop immigration and you stop freaking this freaking nonsense by doing something about it. You stop, you, you have prison reform by separating the people that are freaking crazy or need medical help from the people who are just friggin criminal and you segregate the prisons not by race but by crimes you create a dozen little cupcake prisons and you reform by them not getting outside to enjoy the party and you don't make them crime schools that's how you friggin don't kill everybody forget this left right Freaking politics. The left right politics is crap. Because it, it, you go to the right and it's all freaking. Oh, we got to do things this way and this set of ideas. And then you go to the left and it's all this freaking na 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 freaking social bullshit. Social democracy bullshit. And it's like, hey, both those systems are freaking foo foo bullshit. Freaking. The current Republican friggin' thing, the faction in there is crap. If you took different aspects of conservatives, conservancy and friggin' made them and recombined them the right way, you wouldn't need any of that liberal crap. Maybe a few little things. Because there is some economic progressive parts that need to be in there. But that's it. That's it. Because the part, because you don't want friggin' the church having to be the charity to be the economic progressive part, and that's and you don't want the friggin' social progressiveness in the right to be tied with economic hard economic libertarianism, which is conservative. So, you know, if you could separate those two from each other, then you don't need all this friggin' 
freaking million and one freaking Lottie Doodah things. Oh, don't beat your wife. We gotta make a shelter for that. Oh, the kids. You know, oh, everything. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, someone didn't get a job because they were the wrong shade. If there's no race, there's no race freaking quotas. It's simple as that. You know? No. If there's no race, there's no race discrimination. Forget it. That's that, you know? You can disband the NAACP because there are no more colored people. Forget, forget that crap in prison, too. You might as well have integrated prisons. Just freaking segregate that whole population. And then freaking let them back out when they freaking learn their lesson. I mean, it's. And then, the medicine, jeez, the reality of medicine is that it costs so much more to freaking heal somebody than, we have more capability than we have ability to provide. It's the real problem. The real ugly truth of it all, of the whole thing, if science has advanced so far, but freaking the funding for it is unaffordable. I say stop researching AIDS, freaking Doctors Without Borders, and all this other crap. Just life saving medicine nobody can afford, and research some freaking ways to make it freaking cheap enough, freaking that everybody can freaking get by. Oh, I'm sorry. We would have been able to research that exotic new cancer, but we had to save friggin' 450 friggin' thousand people from friggin' something that's friggin' basic. You know, like malnutrition or friggin' smoking. I mean, you know, just... It's just friggin'... Let them die. I mean, you know, how ideologically stupid are you? You know what I mean? That you can't see that we're in a freaking broke down freaking world. Everything is so interconnected and it's all based off oil and and it's just and left or right it's it'll never be perfect. The world's never perfect because frankly Human beings are friggin' lemmings. You friggin' set a friggin' perfect little place for them and they friggin' expand like friggin' a lemming population. It's like a lemming drop. You know what? They say lemmings are suicidal. You know the only thing that stopped the lemming from friggin' being where we are and who we are? They didn't have opposable thumbs. They weren't looking to friggin' uh, kill themselves. They share the one thing we share. They're explorers. They find a resource, and when they friggin' can't do it, they find the next one. And they incessantly go from one place to the next to the next. Until they end up friggin' overbreeding so much that they friggin' kill themselves off. That's what we are. We're the lemmings of freaking sentient beings. It's the truth. So, we'll have to fix freaking the population problem first. Because we're freaking driving the planet right into a freaking hole where the ecosystem will not support us and then Mother Nature will freaking just flush the toilet, and that'll be it. There'll be a new... You put too much strain on the freaking natural infrastructure, the natural ecostructure, and it'll just collapse. Pretty soon, something will come that will freaking wipe it out. Uh, personally, my bet is with all the pollution and the global warming and everything... That there will be a, uh, God, I could never say that, a friggin' axionic 
oceanic event. In other words, all that friggin' red tide is just gonna have friggin' methane that's gonna bubble up, and everyone for a hundred miles of friggin' any coastline will be dead. You'll see people in the mountains, and, and keep in mind that any time there would be a major pandemic or a meteor striking or something, that there's that the social economic situation is that once any major government collapses and an, an international network collapses so bad, it's like a friggin' it's like a net. Once you yank on that net. It'll yank everything else into the friggin' sea. And friggin' down it goes. And, you know, we're all sitting on a bunch of nukes still. So anytime friggin' a country goes plunk, friggin' it'll, it'll friggin' hit the friggin' self-destruct button. And there it all goes. Well, maybe. Well, no. I don't think the freaking planet would survive that. You know. Maybe if it was like freaking Rise of the Planet of the Apes where it's just one Omega Bomb at the end. You know, or Thunder of the Barbarian or something. You know. But that's it. You know. uh, Maybe in a hundred billion years. Or a million years it would grow back again to where small mammal life would be back but it's doubtful so you see that's the real problem let them die if we don't fix it we're all gonna die and no this isn't friggin Gary 